Hey guys, if what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling is really drawing out my tomorrow and it's telling me that this is what my tomorrow is going to be, right? I know that, so I do everything and anything I can possibly do to make sure that I'm thinking exactly what it is that I want to be doing tomorrow or how it is that I want my life to turn out tomorrow. Except, except you're still not able to conquer your stress response right now or that you're still having these thoughts and that comes as a result of the way our brain has been wired and it's preconditioning. We all know this. So rather than putting the pressure on yourself about changing your entire mindset in one sitting, let's do it incrementally so that every day out of the 10 times that you have said, um, you know what, my life's never gonna get any better things always go wrong, then find those little, little spurts where you're really feeling, wow, things are amazing and this is how I really want my life to be. And you find yourself naturally swimming in gratitude. You find yourself naturally just feeling, wow, I am so grateful. This is the best time I'm having. And those times, when you're able to find those times in the day, yeah, try and find more of those. The more of those that we find, it then becomes second nature to us to be like that. And that whenever we are then in that stressful uh, situation and whenever you're, you're feeling like things are falling apart your second nature yeah it kicks in and it swoops in and is able to then save the day but there's a very thin line between that and putting yourself under constant pressure about mastering your thoughts constant pressure about trying to manifest or co-create your reality look there are bigger things that are happening out there um, that we're not even aware of. It's not just about me um, being this co-creator and that I'm able to create this wonderful life. Yes, that's just a little part of it. Yeah, there's this whole bigger picture and a lot of other things that have got to come into play. But that is not for us to worry about. The only concern for us is how do I master myself moment to moment, reaction to response throughout the course of the day, day by day, rather than, right, this is my vision and this is where I want to go and this is how I want to be. I want to be this Zen master right now. Incrementally, incrementally, realistically, realistically, because it has taken your brain this whole life and possibly lifetimes to have accumulated a lot of gunk and to get that gunk out of your system, i.e. any labeling, it can be absolutely anything, any conditioning like uh, as simple as the family mindset, as simple as the values that you were instilled with at whatever school you went to, right? Do I really want to relate to those values? Are those really my values to whatever family that you are part of, to whatever race or caste or creed, you know, any of these, these little limits or um, defining whoever you are and sort of stepping out of the definition of who you are and just stepping into this amazing possibility of who you can become and whatever it is that you want to become because perhaps we need to let go of who you are and whatever you identify yourself into something else in order for you to manifest that the kind of life that you want so we need to move into that and that transition into that involves removing this particular layers particular conditioning putting on this new set of clothes and moving on from there. 
see you guys later.